My name is Evelyn Griffin. I am a 10th grade student at OPE. This year in English, we studied Romeo and Juliet. In this video, I will talk about William Shakespeare's life and read a passage that reflects the theme of William Shakespeare's play, Romeo and Juliet. The passage is a conversation between Romeo and Juliet where they confess their love for each other and is a key turning point for the play. I hope you enjoy my video. William Shakespeare, an English poet and playwriter known for his timeless work, is regarded as one of the best writers of all time. He was born to John and Mary Shakespeare in April 1564. Shakespeare's plays are still studied today because of the communicative power of his language. Most of the time, his plots were not his ideas, but taken from fictions, biographies, dramas, and current events. Shakespeare's pieces can be hard to understand. His vocab was around 29,000, when the average university student is around 14,000. Another reason why Shakespeare's plays are hard to understand is that the words have changed meaning in 500 years. For example, proper meant handsome and cousin meant kinsman or friend. Shakespeare's plays were performed in the Globe Theatre, which was built in 1599 by Shakespeare's Playing Company. Four flags were flown over the playhouse. Three of them symbolized a different type of play. White was for comedy, black was for tragedy, and red was for political. The flag that hung at all times was a photo of the Greek god Atlas. Underneath was written, In November 1582, Shakespeare married Anne Hathaway. Children. Susanna, Judith, and Hamnet. Overall, Shakespeare's plays are still being studied today because of the details in his plays and, was, and he was very talented at telling great stories in a theatrical way. In William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, two teenage star-crossed lovers fall in love despite the immense conflict of their family. Romeo's family, the Montagues, and Juliet's family, the Capulets. In result of this conflict, the story soon ends in a tragedy. In Act 2, lines 32 to 49, the passage reflects the theme that sometimes love is so strong that one will give up everything for it. This is the passage. And sails upon the bosom of the air. O Romeo, O Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou will not, be but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak at this? This scene really reflects the theme of hatred overcome by love. This scene is a conversation between Romeo and Juliet where they confess their love for each other after seeing one another at the Capulet Ball. This is a pivotal moment in the play and is a key turning point. This is the moment where they realize their feelings are mutual for each other. Without this scene, they would not have had a moment to confess their love, and some of the key events would have not happened, such as their marriage, the deaths of Mercutio and Tybalt, as well as their tra tragic deaths. This passage really emphasizes the suddenness of their love. This scene heavily reflects the theme because Romeo knows that if he is caught with Juliet at the Capulet Mansion, Tybalt will kill him without hesitation, but Romeo is willing to risk his life in order to show how devout he is to Juliet. This passage is essential to the story and changes the story from the typical love story to a unique one. This is a great example in the story of hatred overcome by such an overpowering love. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching.